All right, welcome to the Purpose Plan uh, tutorial. So there's three aspects to this academic, spiritual, and career plan. It's pretty thorough. This is something you want to take your time doing so you can actually kind of learn the three different aspects, very important parts of your life. Um, for this online one, you're going to go for your academic plan. You're going to click on this link. It takes you to your degree program. So it's going to ask you what program you're in, uh, your program of study, uh, what are some of the courses you're going to take, which one do you anticipate being challenging and why, you know, and then that last one during the college kickoff, uh, which of these resources did you feel and find helpful? If you, if you didn't go to the kickoff, you still want to go to the web link for the, for the, uh, that takes you to the kickoff where it shows you all the different colleges. Find your college. There should also be a video there to watch. Uh, just in case you missed, um, but you still got to answer that question on the resources available after you watch that video. Um, do not copy and paste anything on this worksheet. So like if you're going to type in what classes you anticipate, just type them out. Don't sit there and copy and paste like personality psychology or, or, you know, um, math, whatever college algebra, don't copy and paste it, type it out. And when it asks you why it's challenging or what's it about or anything like that in those natures, if it asks you any questions regarding the classes, you want to type it all on your own. Uh, which program of study you're in, you want to type. Of course, some of those questions might be like what program of study is going to be, you know, like if you're in psychology, a bachelor's of science in psychology or whatever. Uh, some of those might be one-liners, but for the most part, you're going to write thorough paragraphs or multiple sentences answering each question. All right. Spiritual one, there's a link right here. It takes you to uh, the Christian identity and mission, to the, the ethical position statement, and doc, the doctrinal statement introduction. There's going to be some videos to watch on there, too, as you see. If you read through these directions, it tells you. So don't. So these tutorials, I want to make sure I point out, they do not take the place of watch, reading the directions. So make sure you're reading through these. Don't just take what I'm saying and that's it. Uh, well, I thought that. Oh, I thought you said it was just this. No, you're, you're going to do one foundation. Uh, watch all three videos. One foundation integration of faith and learning. There's um, all sorts of things to read. There's videos to watch. Very interesting. Um, and it's going to ask you about what you took from these videos um, and experiences. Um, 50 to 100 words. Don't go under 50, you'll lose points. If you go over 100 words, that's okay. You know, if you're one of those, it's like you can just type or you happen to be typing a lot and you're like, wow, am I going to get points taken off for going over 100? No, don't worry about that. You know, just don't go under 50. Um, you should be able to be able to write enough after watching videos and reading things that you'll have information to answer here. Okay, so you just click on this web link here. Uh, the career plan's a little bit trickier, so you want to make sure um, that you actually watch these three videos right here to make sure you understand what you're going to answer or how you're going to answer these questions. So if you ask me, I don't know what to do for the career plan, this is the one I get a lot of students questioning, hey, how do I do the career plan part? What is it talking about, the, you know, steps and goals and stuff like that? Well, you got to watch these videos, okay? Um, and, and if you don't watch these videos, you might not understand what you're going to be answering. So if you ask me, you know, hey, I don't know what to do with the career plan, I'm going to give you the same answer I give students. Well, you have to go back to that section and watch those three YouTube videos to understand and then follow back up with me. All right. Um, part of the assignment is writing 100 to 125 words for question one. And then on top of that, another 100 and 125 words for answering this question. Um, this is another area where students lose a lot of points because they don't follow the word count. So again, if you go under 100 words, you're going to lose points. If you go over 125 words, that's fine with me, you know. But make sure you thoroughly answer these questions and that you're putting it in um, a Word document. Um, I also want to reiterate, and I'm going to po point out in the announcements this week, do not submit PDF files. Um, if you do submit PDF files from here on out, um, I'm going to post talk about this again in my video. You'll you'll get a zero for a placeholder. The assignment will receive late points. So I have to be able to open your assignment in Word in case I want to make comments on it. 
Okay, so especially with those reflections, but every students are not at liberty to alter the file type. So if it's given to you in Word or PowerPoint, it's got to stay in that file type. Students are not at liberty, and there's no directions that say, hey, submit it in PDF. That's not what it's going to say. All right, so make sure you follow that requirement. If you have any questions, let me know.